Today's episode of Dungeon Crawlers Radio is brought to you by Gamers Inn, your one-stop location for all your gaming needs. Located in Lehigh City, Utah, their fun and friendly staff will be more than happy to answer any of your gaming needs. Just remember, Gamers Inn, it's where adventures begin. Broadcasting live from the DCR studio. Oh, yeah! The Geek Revolution starts here. Excellent! Get ready for the number one hit geek radio show out there. Well, it is impressive, isn't it? Because it's time for Dungeon Crawlers Radio. That's great! Uh, Let's get ready to run! Alright everyone, welcome to the final episode of Dungeon Crawlers. Just kidding. No, I mean seriously, we don't know. Thanos may snap his fingers at any second and so Mackenzie. Wait a minute, Varen's fe- uh, gone! Oh no! I don't feel it's, well, it's Daniel. It's starting! I don't feel well. Okay, so we've got 15 minutes to hurry and get this show done. Uh, before Scott disappears. Or maybe it's Mackenzie. Or maybe it's me. I don't know. Varen's already gone. Anyways, so yes, we're going to talk about the Avengers Infinity War Can I just say, review. I am so proud that and, I didn't what, get spoiled for a month. So I'm going to put this, because it has been a month since the show has been out, this is a Let's be honest, by the time we're in the future, it might be two months. The, yeah, it's been a while. It's this been a while, you should have seen it. We'll have I did. spoilers. No, I'm saying to the just fans. Like two days ago. <laughs> I'm yes. saying to the fans they should but have hey, seen it But hey, I think I deserve props and kudos for not getting spoiled in that entire month. That is awesome. Go me! That just means you stayed off social media. No, I was still on social media. I just didn't Google anything. Oh. That's how I've also... Because if that was the case, um, I haven't seen season three or four of Rebels, and I'm still not spoiled, so no I'm voice. so sorry. Why are you so sorry? Because I could say something right now. Damn. Everything would go to that pop. That else take me. Darth Vader is That's in season two. <laughs> Anyways... Let's go. You dumb dumb. I just said I have seen season <laughs> I know. Two. That's why I said it. You were thinking I was going to drop something else. Ha! Anyways, if moving If you're going to say Darth Maul comes back, I already know that. So. There's so many different things I could say. Let's just, move on. I want my therapy. Because I'm not. You know, I will say this. I, I was surprised. I did not expect it to go that way. And I. What? No, I knew everybody was going to die. I just wasn't expecting who died. Because when you think about it, we've kind of got the original roster of the Avengers now. Yeah, I, there, are, there are a few things. Um, I was expecting Cap to get snuffed out. See, I was too! But he's, but he's part of he's Infinity gonna die. War. I think Seriously. he's going to die at the end of Infinity War 2 now. So here, yeah. here's the thing. There are some characters that did die that didn't perish in the comic. Spider-Man was one of them. And who also have a movie deal coming up. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, well, there, I mean, there's another and Spider-Man. And Doctor Strange. Yeah. Yep. So... Here's the and thing. Star-Lord. I did like the fact that they did use Spider-Man as an emotional anchor for Tony. Especially since he was talking about with Pepper and that Yeah. yeah. Well, it it re- I think more than anything having Peter die really kind of upset his reality because he was he's always been kind of pompous and whatever, nothing affects me. But this really affected him. Um, well, and I'm trying to remember because it's been a while since I've gone through Infinity War, but weren't the X Men involved too? And that's kind of it, it was a huge, it yeah. was a huge crossover. Yeah. Although I'm gonna say this, and I know I'm gonna get R two'd for it. Ever since they said his chin looked like, <laughs> I can't get that out of my head. Who? Thanos. <laughs> that his chin looks like. Oh, uh, I didn't. <laughs> I, I, had, I have. I think Star Lord said it. Oh, no. oh, maybe maybe he did say that, and I just ignored it. Um, you know. It, I don't think that, that was a scripted line. That's I think that's just Chris Pratt being, being Chris, Chris Pratt. Pratt. Yeah, probably. Although, let's be honest, the battle between him and Thor was pretty fantastic. For who? Between Star-Lord and Thor. Oh, that was probably the weakest point of the whole movie, in my opinion. I was amused, but I'm also amused anytime Bradley Cooper just gets to say what he wants. And yeah, I, Rocket... It was the commentary okay, so that was the best part. The pairing they had was fantastic. Rocket with Thor, beautiful. And Groot. You and Groot. Groot. And Groot. But Groot um, had to die again! I, you know, it was, 
So did his arm also just No. That is the very interesting thing. His arm remained on Stormbringer. Do you think that Stormbreaker? Breaker. Do you so think that's because it was generation. attached to Stormbreaker? I don't know. That's that's the, that is interesting. But at the same time, the axe was also was embedded really, into Thanos. I still want to see Corbin. So Oh, that's true. He actually flew. He he teleported away with the axe still embedded. No, the axe no, fell the down. The axe oh, fell down. Yeah, yeah, it's there now. But I, but it kind of makes you wonder, like, if that's the weakness, because the gauntlet. It makes me wonder if that's how they're going to destroy it is with Stormbreaker because they're both made out of the same material. Well, the gauntlet is already destroyed. If you watch at the end, it, gets it, roasted. it got roasted. Oh, did it? Yeah. Um, I was a little too emotionally fraught. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh. It was a great movie. It was really yeah. good. Really I kind good. Of, I thought it was better than Age of Ultron. Oh, way it, better. Way better. You know, I even still like the but original it wasn't Avengers better. Uh, yeah, but it even, wasn't on par with Civil War. Yeah, well, Civil War was Captain America. It wasn't a full Avengers movie. But to me, it still kind of felt like an Avengers yeah. movie, and I really wanted, I really wanted Scott to come back because I really liked his. Um, yeah, bounce but back. he's tied up in. Ant yeah, Man yeah, versus yeah. Wasp. We may and see him in the second. Um, we're definitely going to see Captain Hawkeye? Marvel. We'll see him in the second. You think you'll see him in the second? I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, there's already but set make, pictures. Okay. Well, and it also kind of makes me wonder if when Captain Marvel comes in, if she's going to bring like a mini Avengers team, like with Ant Man, with Hawkman or Hawkeye. Sorry. Maybe I, I don't know because she's embedded. It seems like she's embedded with Shield. I don't know. We'll have to see when we see the, the so here's Captain Marvel movie. Where I was confused about that. that. When is the Captain Marvel movie coming out? Next. So Ant Man and Wasp, and then at, so next year, the first Marvel movie of the year is Captain it's not Marvel one coming out in November. I thought there was one coming out in November. It's, it's is Ant- it Captain Marvel? No. no. Ant-Man and Wasp is in July. Yeah. Ant-Man and Wasp, yeah. and then Captain Marvel. Yeah. Uh, so we've Marvel. already had the three for the year. They're only doing three in a year. So we're not getting anything until next spring, huh. which is Captain that Marvel, up. and then part two in May, I think. Yeah, I know yeah. it's a little bit later. Yeah. I, don't, I, You know, my only... And then Spider-Man's like later in the year, maybe. I, I still haven't seen yeah. Homecoming. Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Hopefully it gets brought back. Yeah. Well, uh-huh. no, it just, it Quote, kind no. of... It kind of makes me wonder, like, what, like, if they're doing, I don't want to say reboot because it's not a reboot. It makes me wonder if they're kind of maybe retiring some of the characters. Well, this is the perfect time to do it. They have yeah. the reality stone and all those that can, and, the, and we've said, I've said this before, this is a great time because then they can change things to recast characters. By the way, you know what my favorite moment was? What? Red Skull. I did like awesome. tying him in. It, it, that was it more shocking me. than Darth Maul. It was an annoying me. It wasn't Hugo Weaving, but other than that, I was very thrilled. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we do see him being transported away at the end by the Tesseract at the end well, of Captain America. And it Captain tied America. everything in a nice it little did. neat boat because we're like, what happened with that? Why haven't we seen him? And granted, that's part of that is Hugo he's, Weaving. he's stuck there, yeah. But um, now we know why. And yeah, that was a like really, that. really so good moment. So I hope we get to see him come back again because now he has no more purpose. You're but right, if he doesn't have any gone. more purpose, what if he was being tied to the so, Soul Stone and now he's... No, so we do see in this comic series that Red Skull does return. So now we can have that. That's why he hasn't been there. That's a good way to explain it. Mm-hmm. Now we can come back because the Soul Stone has been released. Mm-hmm. Um, so is There that, are a lot of questions. Is he going to be a foe or friend, though? Because I thought that was his punishment. Was That was part of his punishment. Um, and he, He's definitely going to be a foe just because yeah. of the character. Um, I love you know, I've, I've been out there reading a lot of articles. There's a lot of people that are really confused with the whole Soul Stone uh, scene. The fact that he sacrificed Gamora, he's abusive, but more importantly, that the Power Stone agreed with what he did. What do you mean? Um, with him sacrificing Gamora and that not... A lot of people are like, that's not really love. Um, oh, I see. What because you're he's an abusive type guy, blah blah blah. Same time, I mean, kind of the counter to that is even abusers do love. Sometimes the, the they feel point. that that is love. Yeah, them. they for them in their mind, they feel that that is love. You so know, can we when say I how said amazing? I wanted therapy, I didn't mean I wanted psychoanalysis. So well, no, I mean, can I just interject? Like, how ahead. amazing it is that they actually were able to turn a movie where they took the villain, who is our villain, and they turned him into the hero of the movie. Well, yeah. And, and the movie was, he was the protagonist. Antagonist? Protagonist. Yeah. He was the one who actually 
like he won. He was the entire movie was built around him. It wasn't built around the Avengers. And if I remember well, you argue right, he's an anti-hero in a certain form in his own well, mind. In his, in mind. his own way, yeah. yeah. I mean, and this is in his own way. He saved the universe. I think you pointed this well, out at the end of every movie. They say like Spider-Man will return or so on and Thanos so forth. Will return. But at the end of this one, it's Thanos will return. My roommate said that, and I'm like, oh, that. Well, if that didn't give you the clue, then... I mean, obviously we know he's returning for the the end of the story. Right. But, um... You know, I will say this. They made Thanos a lot more sympathetic in the movie than I've ever seen him before. In in the comic, he's just a... Brute. Sadistic brute. Well, because he's trying to kill and as many even, possible to bu- make that well, bomb. Well, and up even yeah. in um, oh god, what was it? Um, not the Avengers TV series that's going on right now. The one before it, Earth Mightiest Heroes. That one. Yeah. Love that one. It's really good, and you should check it out if you can find it. But he was a sadistic brute in yeah. that one too. No, I think they made. They they take a note from history of. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan, Hitler, so all these people, they had this belief in their mind of what they were doing. It was a righteous, holy purpose, and they were just people. I think they took that those ideals and embodied that into Thanos. He thought he was saving the universe. Well, and the worst part is that what he is preaching has come out as a theory yeah. that overpopulation is going to yeah. be what destroys everything. I, you know, and he felt... He had this kinship, this love for this little girl he saved. I mean, and which later became Gamora. And even though there, he didn't do things in a loving, fatherly way compared to what we would think, to him, he thought he was because he was preparing these two girls for what ultimately would be this final go to save the universe. Well, because his whole people were destroyed. His planet was destroyed. Oh, yeah. Like, it, he's trying to... He, See, that's where I was confused. Was the whole planet destroyed? Yes. Like it's, okay, he's the last one, right? Yeah. Okay. It's roasted. Which well, is really dumb because he could have just taken the glove and changed that. But hey! Yeah. His quest was to destroy half the universe. But hey, we don't know that's not where to a he hill. was. But again, this that's is the true. idea is that they the, the writers had a character that has to destroy, that has to have a good motivation to want to destroy half the universe. Yeah. And they did an excellent job of embodying that in a story yes. that makes sense. See, yes. this is what I was talking about earlier. They had that cohesive. They knew what they were, they knew what their game plan was from the beginning. And yes. because of that, we had a well-rounded villain. I will say this about Marvel villains. Sometimes they're not rounded. Like, Loki... <laughs> yeah, you know, the like, Mandarin. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Mandarin... You can argue um, even Red Skull to a certain point. I think Red Skull was a really well-rounded character. He was, if you know more of his background. Like, I know enough of his background that I saw that in the embodiment. Yeah, but, but I think that you've never seen it. They were do, so. they did it really well because it was you know it was, yeah. like, it was World War II. They could get away with not having to do that. Um, but where you had like the Mandarin, I think that was a horrible weak character. Ugh. Um, yeah, you know, and we've seen, we well, have seen some of those. I mean, even Iron Man 2's villain, no. uh, Whiplash, was horrible. Um, but I think they've tried to do better at getting, you know, I, I can even go far as, you know, uh, Thor 2, the Dark Elves. Those were, that was, those were weak villains, too. Yeah. But, they you were. Know, we had, Thor Ragnarok, we had, some, we had a great villain in that. See, it's and Ragnarok and was so well done, and I don't think that movie is getting enough love either. I, again, I think it's pro- it's partly because two wasn't that great. Yeah. And then they threw out three, and then suddenly we had Infinity War. Yeah. There I wasn't think it got lost a enough bit. time to fall in love with that. Well, and I was going to say, when it comes to Winter Soldier, I really love, because Winter Soldier to me is like that old James Bond spy movie. Mm-hmm. And even though you kind of saw it coming, I like that more sneaky villain. Yeah. And especially, and it was Hydra all along. I really love that, even though it screwed Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. over, but eh. Yeah. Actually, it made the show better, though. Longer. I think it, it, it did make the it show did, better. I haven't watched the last couple of seasons. That's okay. It's I'm waiting better. for it to... Each, it's each over. season, it's, it's actually it's, it's ending, so yeah. hey, we're good. Is it ending right yeah, now? Yeah, it has been canceled. Has oh, it again? They announced it. Yeah. They're just doing the season five heard, and then it's over. Yes, last season heard, five is, is the final season. So they I canceled heard, them. So they were renewed, then canceled, basically. Yeah. I'm going to have to double check on that because last I heard it was it had been renewed, but it was going to be renewed after the next Avengers. It is still coming out next summer. Yeah. It's coming out summer 2019 after. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what I'm saying. Like, it, so get it, more it, this is the last season, though. Yeah. Yeah. 
And but it's with what the writers want to do. Yeah. So I don't yeah. think you can say cancel. Is it this wrong? I really ending. hope May shows up in Captain Marvel. I want them to. Maybe. I really want them to do that. I just don't see them doing it. I can see Coulson showing back up. Coulson is supposed to show back up in, in Captain I, Marvel. I think I Captain Marvel. Has... Yes, he yeah. is in Captain okay. Marvel. But that's because that's in the past. Yeah. Yes. But I mean, it kind of just because. In all honesty, while I enjoyed watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., that was not a very cohesive show. It has not been very cohesive. It's gotten better. I have not enjoyed it at all. It, it, That's okay. I haven't it, enjoyed Flash. We the, all thing, have the thing that I the season finale, was extremely sorry. disappointing of that is when they showed the, the trailers for it, it looked like it was going to be a, ser- a series with superheroes and stuff like that, and no it's superheroes. not. superheroes. There's like none. It's like it was so bitterly disappointing. Well, and I, then it was so tied to the movies that you it was so lost. Well, and they tried the movies, to wrap it up. They don't have a lot of superheroes. Yeah, they I know have people with abilities like Falcon that can fly. And I, I was still technique. okay Ten, trying to give it, but it was the fact that some storylines didn't make sense until you went and saw movie X or movie B, and then it's like, oh, okay, now I get it. And sometimes. It took the Ghost Rider, to why the out. heck? They've done better I mean, yeah. than that, like with the whole uh, what's happening in Infinity War, they address yeah. it, but only as like, have you seen what's going on in New York? It's yeah. nice, throwaway kind of little... See, yeah, and I, that makes more sense. And I think they kind of did go, that I, the last season I watched, it kind of did make some, you know, like the Wakanda stuff, or the Wakanda embassy, or there's, oh, did you get, see what I, happened over in Sokovia? It's type yeah, stuff, I think right? it was one of those things where we expected it to be... I want to say a Marvel movie a week, but we kind of did. Like, we expected to see a lot more, like... We expected to see something like The Arrow or The Flash or something that was a superhero TV series that we were seeing. With the big names. But we didn't get big names. Or at least have them show up as... I mean, because you saw Samuel L. Jackson show up at the very beginning, and yeah, that was a lot of fun, but he hasn't shown up since that I'm aware of. Yeah. It was a throwaway thing. He has shown up one other time. Has he? Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen him. Because... I mean, I will admit, like, all the actors are way bigger, and they maybe don't have time for a TV series, but they build up that expectation, and then I feel like they didn't follow through. I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoy watching the show, but they took away two of my favorite characters. So. They do that. Avengers. Back to the review. We gotta circle back in, because we're running out of time. Yes, over to Lord. Was really well done. You know, um, even bouncing around from all the places we were doing, oh, they made beautiful. sure to tell you where they were at. It's one thing I hated about Rogue One. They started doing that, and then once they went to Mustafar, it's like, who cares? Yeah. Well, and you know what I kind of, what kind of I didn't like, but now looking back at it, I don't mind. I don't mind that Tony and Cap didn't make up, because now I think they will... No, I like that. No, I, I did. like that. That's why I said, they never did see each other. I didn't like it. At, I didn't like it as I was watching it. But then the more I look at it, I'm like, no, this is a good thing. This is a really good I, thing. What my favorite thing is when Bruce comes back and he's like, "What's going on? What happened? Yeah, why are we awesome. talking to each other?" That was funny. I mean, he's like, "My, I think the and he Hulk, totally gets the cold the shoulder Hulk from that." Was amazing. <laughs> well, you know what no. I liked. We saw, yeah. we saw Bruce Banner being. Yeah, the hero. we saw yeah. Bruce Banner. Being the hero, well, but it was fantastic. He was running around in the the Hulk bus armor, but not only that, he was re- he was like, "You ail!" I mean, he's calling the Hulk, and ail, we're not coming out. We need you. I mean, it was fantastic writing, it was and Mark perfect. Ruffalo pulled it off so well. But being kind of like clueless, like, "What's going on? Why are you talking? What?" what? It's um, interesting how much more and, power they've given the Hulk between Ragnarok and this. Like, he's talking. Yeah, and he, he's not just this dumb machine anymore. No, I think he him. Tom-a-ton. Uh, in Ragnarok, being present for so long has really given, you know, and we did, you know, in the cartoons and the comic books, you do see that more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what, where they're going, which I like, um, where it's kind of two dueling personalities, kind of like what they've done with Killer Frost mm-hmm. um, on Flash, where she's leaving notes for Caitlin. That was cute. Um, oh, I, I love Doctor Strange, too. Yeah. Doctor Strange was fantastic. Mm-hmm. He and uh, Tony were like the children of Thanos, I think they pulled off really well. Well, and I honestly love that I felt, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Because I felt... Sad when people die. Yeah, it's yeah. like, even though, because I felt just as sad when Doctor Strange died mm-hmm. as I did when Bucky died. Yeah. That's the thing that's so great about Marvel is... You're emotionally invested. You're emotionally invested. I mean, it's kind of like I was saying, I'm not emotionally invested in the new Star Wars characters, and I don't think I ever will be. I just, I don't have it with them. Yeah. 
not like I had with the originals, and I'm not talking the prequels. Yeah. I'm talking like actual Han, Luke, and Leia, because yeah. even Obi-Wan and Anakin, nah, not so yeah. much. But I'm really excited to see where they're going to go, and I'm really excited for Captain Marvel. But I want to know if I get to see the Kree. No. How does she get her powers? In Captain Marvel? Yeah. I think we will see Kree. But didn't she get her powers originally from Kree? Or am I going cray cray? So I'd have to go back and read. Uh, no. It depends on if they're making an origin movie or if they're just moving forward as if she already has the powers. And they haven't really said either way. Have and they? like well, Spider Man, Spider Man, the, the green villains that can transform into anyone. That's Kree. Or, no, no, that's the scrolls. Because scroll. this scrolls. is the scroll war. That's what they're saying, right? Okay, yeah. yeah. So then we won't see them. We won't see the Kree. Probably not. So you're. But maybe I don't know. It, again, we don't know because they've kind of. They've kind of meshed some stuff together, and like well, we didn't get an origin story for Spider Man. It's like, bam, he already has his powers. And well, that's because all of a sudden we can include well, him, and we need to include him. And isn't him. the Kree and the Scrolls weren't they owned by Fox because of Fantastic Four? Am I going crazy? And, and X Men, yeah. And X Men, yeah. yeah. Oh, so Scroll is not because they said Kree in uh, so Mar- Agents of Shield. Kree is now something they, that Marvel does own. The Scrolls they are don't. a major part of the Fantastic Four stuff. But if the Fox deal goes through, that means they now have. Fantastic Fantastic Four back. I thought they were getting it back anyway because the last movie was shit. Yeah, that's what they, I I, they because they made the movie, they still own the rights. That's why that's they no threw in a me. movie. Um, you know, because they if I the deals they have so long to make a movie, mm. and that's why we got the and Andrew that's why they lost uh, Yeah, so they have so long to do and something. Ghost Rider. Yeah. Anyways, so um, it was a good movie. It was a very good movie. Uh, there are some, some, a lot of deaths that are unexpected. I actually was excited to see Vision die. I hate that character with a passion. I love that character. I hate it. I are love him because... Paul Bettany Vision or just Vision in general? Just Vision in general is a really... See, I love Jarvis. Always have weaker. loved Jarvis. Jarvis and so. was great. But now that they made him Vision, I just, I hate... That character is always... Been self- overpowered, overpowered, self righteous, pompous ass. He's Google. He, he really is. He needs to be more Red Tornado. Uh, I hate Red Tornado too. Mm. Yeah, it's okay, Daniel. And then the and then the, know, the Red Tornado that shows tornado. up in, in Supergirl even worse. I'm not talking about that one. <laughs> that I'm talking bad. about yeah. the babysitter in Young Justice. Uh, that's that's a bad d- depiction of him too. But probably the best out of anything. I'm a fan of Vision. See. And I hope that they do bring him back. I hope that she was able to separate his consciousness enough from his body yeah, that she can I, still rejuvenate him. I'm hoping. I'm I don't know. I, I just, I, I don't like the way they portrayed him. And it's just, it, it's annoying. I'll just leave that. So. And I can't wait to see Cap show back up instead of Nomad. You Nomad. think he will bring him back as Cap? I, I don't know. I really don't know. They still called him Cap. That was a funny thing. Someday. Well, they never actually called yeah. him Nomad. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. It's just they, he took on the persona of Nomad. Yeah. They either um, called him Steve Rogers or Cap. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it, maybe he doesn't survive this battle, and we end up with Falcon or Bucky taking up the shield. We know Bucky can pick up the shield and has used it. We yeah. saw that in Captain or in Civil War, so that may be a I precursor to show I want us. Tony to give him back the shield, and that's their reconciliation. That's the picture I have in my head, and I'm not giving it up. Well, yeah. And that whole scene, that's the one part in that movie that bugged me. What, the shield? Taking my that's mine. Shield. Yeah. yeah. No, it was Cap's shield. It's never yeah. been Howard Stark's shield. Yeah. So, exactly. yeah. Exactly. That really kind of rubbed me a little bit wrong, but oh well. I don't so. know. Tony sometimes... I. This is probably going to get me so much hate online, and I don't care. I don't like Tony. Tony, comic book Tony, horrible. Robert Downey Jr. Tony, probably the best Tony depiction ever. I, I love it Robert Downey Jr. Great. Tony. I just don't like the character. He's no, the character as a whole. He is a narcissistic playboy ale. He really is. Um, but Robert Downey Jr. has made it into a way that's playful and funny and likable. But I have never liked Iron Man. At all. I mean, that honestly, my favorite Marvel character has always been Spider Man, and I've never really liked any you, of the others. And I do love Captain the fact America's my boy. that Spider Man, we get these really fun pop culture references 
via Spider-Man. That was you know, actually like, really fun. Remember that movie, Aliens? No, that really old movie, like how yeah. I make you. I'm, not, I'm your yeah, Spider-Man in this yeah, scenario. Pretty much. Uh, and then they blew the hole. Which is ironic considering I hate Spider-Man. Because awesome. the kid has seen more movies. I love that line. I know, <laughs> I know. So, yeah, we got Star Wars reference. We've got the Alien reference. I can't wait to see what other references we're going to get. So, All right, we're going to wrap this up. We've gone over time. Uh, give us your thoughts on Avengers. Let us know what you thought. And maybe well, where it goes from here. Maybe after they defeat Thanos, uh, Varen will reappear. Because apparently uh, we're the f- part of the 50% that survived. Yay! No, it doesn't work. You don't have the glove and the gem. on it. All right. But that's it. We're out of here. Bye, Scott. I can get it. I can get it. Bye. I can do it. You're listening to Dungeon Crawlers Radio. Please subscribe and follow them on Facebook or Twitter, Bridges. No, we're even promoting these filthy idiots who doesn't like them, who doesn't like anyone. They are friends, Bridges. They are friends. No, shut up. Please subscribe.